Okay guys, so welcome to this tutorial. And this is a Dynamo tutorial and we're going to have these five family instances here fit with a lot of data from this Excel spreadsheet right here. We have three columns and we want the second column and the third column to be uh, added into these um, family parameters that we have here, these instance parameters. So, uh, and we want Dynamo to do that for us because you can think if you did it manually with each family instance, it will take a lot of time. So we can just let Dynamo do that work for us. So let's just expand this window. I'm going to take you through each node. So I will explain to you guys what it's doing there. The first of all, we're going to import the data from our Excel spreadsheet. So what we're going to do first is to create a file path. And what Daz does, you just browse um, your computer or cloud or wherever where the Excel spreadsheet um, are, is saved. Um, you're going to find that. And after that, you're going to create a file from path node because this will translate the file to this node here, which is the data import Excel. And this um, is just importing the Excel file here. You can see the input here. And then we also need the sheet name of that Excel spreadsheet. And if we open the Excel spreadsheet here, we can see that our sheet name down here is arc1, like I just typed in the string here. And um, this is case sensitive, so we need to actually write it exactly like that. And arc in Danish is sheet in English. So, um, and the other input here is read as strings. So that means that we need to have a default uh, value, which will be false. And in programming language, it's like you have ones and zeros and you have on off. So this was just um, an input that needs to be false. So don't think further about that. Uh, anyway, so uh, what what is going on here? And this will export the data to um yeah i'm gonna explain it this way we want to arrange um our list because now that we have the list we can see the list here so let's talk about that one actually so um the first is zero list and you have zero mark and then comment and type so let's open up our excel spreadsheet so what uh, Dynamo is doing actually is taking the first list and read it as a zero. You see zero here and here is one. Mark is zero and here mark is one. So we just have to think of that way that Dynamo always starts with zero and not one as, um, as it will logically be. Um, so what we're going to do is to actually separate this list so we will have it like this first of all we want to um, get our first item here and the first item in this case will be mark comment and type so that is basically all the titles and we want to separate them because we need to um, tell Dynamo um, to take the other uh, data, but not the titles it's itself. So you can see that we have mark, comment and type in the first row here. So we're just going to separate that one. And what we're going to do next is to uh, list the rest of the items right here. So we have now that we have the, the rest of the items, which will be A, T1, K, M, O. A T one K M O. So that is the second row here. Okay. And then it goes on here with the next row and so on and so forth. Um, so what we're going to do after that is put that data into the list transpose node, which will transpose everything. And what does that mean is that it will, let's just have a look at this one again here. Now that we have the list here, uh, we have A, B, Z, D, E, okay? A, B, C, D. So it takes this column right here and it takes the next column and put it into the list in that way and so on. I think you get the idea. And what we are going to do after that is actually I'm going down here and 
now that we have our lists uh, created uh, for Dynamo to use it probably, now we're going to select the family types we want to use in this case. So, and in this case, uh, it will be this family type here. And we are actually talking about um, this family type right here. You can see up here what the, it's, it's a data type. So, um, and we're going to select that one in in a family types node and we need to have dynamo to select all the elements of that family types uh, with this node right here so you can see it selected all all the five um, family instances there and what we're going to do now is a um, is a really important thing because we are going to sort the family types by a parameter. And what I mean by that is that um, if we go back to our family here, we see the first one has a mark A, the second one has mark B and C and so on. So I want to have Dynamo to set um, all the Excel data to um, the each individual um, family instances right here. So the first one with the mark A, I want a certain uh, data uh, to that one, which will be the T1 and the KMO. And in the B, it will be T2, KMI, and so on. So that can come in really handy uh, because let's say that you get an Excel spreadsheet from a contractor or some uh, something like that and you want to put in some data in into 100 or 200 of these family instances and you will do it manually that will take a long time I think you can imagine that right so um, to, in order to do that we need to I'm just gonna expand this one again so what are we going to do here is to output all the elements of that family type into a list sort by function node and what this does is it it's uh, it uses a function to determine how list items should be sorted and it needs a function input here so that will be get the parameter value by a name that we specify in a code block which is in this case mark um so that is how we will do that and now that we have sorted and selecting all the family types here or sorry the family type we want to export that information into this node right here which is an element set parameter by name so i'm just gonna zoom into this one so we can actually see what is going on here um, so what this does, it needs an input, the element. So that will be the family type that we just sorted out by the marks. And it needs the parameter name. And in this case, we want to have Dynamo to, to, um, to export um, all this data right here and this data right here. And the first uh, column that we want to export is the comment. So we want all these values that I'm marked here to set into the comments um, parameter in in Revit. So that will be this uh, parameter right here. Okay. Let's expand this again. And so it needs the value, of course, here. And the value here will be the list that we have here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So you see, let's just start from here. Now that we arranged all our lists right here, we're going to use them now, right? So first of all, we will um, we will need to 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 um, to connect all the transposed lists to the get item at index node because then we can then it will load that data and now from that one we can specify what column in the excel spreadsheet that we are what that we want to use and i created an integer slider here and an in, integer slider uh, does that um, it will have it select all of whole numbers so in this case you can see if we slide it it will just um, it will just have whole numbers here okay no decimals at all 
And why are we going to use an integer and not a number slider? Let me just show you a number slider really quick. Number slider right here. So if we slide that, we can see that it has decimals right here. And we don't need that because you see here we want to select the list and it has zero, one, two, and so on. Okay. So that's why we use an integer slider. And we'll put it into the index of this node here so that we are now had selected the list, the, this list, list one. Okay. Um, and what we need to do is to convert this data into a string, the string from object. We need that node right here. And we will put it into the value of the set parameter by name because it needs to know what is going to set into the comments uh, parameter in the family instance. Um, so that that and if we run this, it will actually create it. It will put it into these um, parameters. And now you can imagine that you can have uh, to set other values into other parameters. So you can just copy this group here and then paste it into the canvas right here. And now you can you can um, you can um, change the the code block texts, for example, here. This was the comments and now I want to put something else in the text field as well but in the same family instance. So that is really, really useful. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most excited moment. And f oh, sorry. And first of all, we are going to um, open the Excel spreadsheet and just delete what we have right here. And let's create something new to give you a demonstration. So I'll just type in some random things right here. Let's just say M1 and we have up till M5. And the type will be T type, uh, type one, type one. And then we will just do this real quick. Okay, save it and close it. Duh. So uh, what are we going to do now is actually to let's just keep this open. So uh, what are we are going to have here? So here we have the comments right here, the T1 and we have the mark A. We're not going to do anything about the marks here because that is just the identity of that family instance. OK, so we are going to add data into the comment parameter section right here and the text parameter of each of the family instances. You get it, I guess. I hope. Uh, so let's just do that. Um, yeah, so we need to actually just hit F5 to run the script. And let's just keep an eye on one of them and see if the parameters are changing. No nothing is happening right here and that is a big mistake from my side and i am so so sorry about that guys so something is uh, happening here i'm just going to expand this one and let's see what is happening here so we uh, let's open this one again i do excuse me here i come no hell Ah, I think I got it now, guys. I think it's because this integer slider here, I set it to zero to show you guys what was going on before. A totally big, huge mistake in this life. So I'm going to change this to one. <laughs> and let's see what's happening right here. So let's now keep an eye on this right here. OK, let's keep an eye on the text parameter here and the comments parameter here. I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard right now to run the script. Keep an eye on the thing over there. Exactly. Bravo. Bravissimo. Now you see that it changed our parameters. And that, gentlemen and ladies, that is really, really beautiful. And that is something we should actually appreciate in life. Dynamo is amazing. Thank you. 
So guys, if you have any questions or anything else on your heart, please let me know in the comment section below. And hey, I can still learn something new. So if you have another solution for this, please also write it in the comments. So 